So remember, if you experience or witness racism, here are the do's and don'ts. Don't keep it to yourself and don't get into a fight. Do tell a teacher, a coach or someone you can trust. Deal with it the right way because above all, there's no place for racism. When you witness someone being racist to someone, yeah, what the best thing you can do is not going up verbally abusing someone. You, you just tell, you just go to the person that has been assaulted with racism. Just tell them, look, yeah, not everyone is like that. If one of your friends being racist and abused, obviously go and comfort them, you know what I mean? Because they'll obviously feel very, very low. So you just gotta go, you gotta tell them that not the whole world thinks like that. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it won't feel that everybody's closing in on them. Montrer la carte rouge au raciste. I think any young person experience racism themselves, um, they, they definitely shouldn't retaliate. They should tell an adult, um, whether it's their coach, their manager, their parents. If you uh, let them keep doing it, they're just going to think it's right. So the best way is I mean, to tell somebody and hopefully they can put a stop to it, you know. Show racism the red card. I, I think the positive action is obviously education. Education is the one thing that can, that can address this, this issue. And we've got to educate, educate young people into what racism means, how it affects other people who are being racist too. If you're witnessing someone being racist, all you have to do is think about, think about yourself in their shoes. You, not, you would think it's pretty rough, and it is. I mean, it's terrible. There's people calling other people names when they don't even know the person. Show racism the red card. Show racism the red card.